Hey guys, Edog Plays here, bringing you guys another video today. As you guys can see, we're hopping back on the Tap Tycoon, and it has been a super long time. This is going to be episode 65, so we have been playing this a lot, but I think I think this is going to be, if any series is going to come to an end, this is definitely going to be one of them. Um, but, okay, so this just popped up, but it didn't show us the video showing us what happened and stuff like that so it says the daily tap canada ranked number 18 in the world by sending 4.51 million soldiers country bonus is now at five five thousand eight hundred eighty percent you sent zero soldiers because i have been playing at a bunch of different events and stuff like that so i didn't get a chance to come on it and uh, prestige things like that so we're gonna have to do all that today we're definitely gonna need to find an investment group hopefully a pretty good one too i mean it doesn't really matter because i keep on getting kicked from them because i don't play often enough but i mean it's fine if i just keep rejoining and stuff so let's check this um what did everybody rumor go ahead and share so i did the oh well he did the tbc news um i rumored the department store TBC, TBC. So we're definitely going to go with TBC news here. So good thing I didn't just trust myself and see whatever I got. Um, okay, and um, wow. Okay, maybe I should have just trusted myself. Still getting one gem though. Daily reward is going to give us another three gems, which isn't too bad. I mean, okay. Uh, daily rewards in this game, they're all right, but they're nothing amazing. Like, they're not really, really good. We didn't get any soldiers because I, be I believe it's because we didn't send any, or sorry, we didn't get any tech cards because we didn't send any soldiers. I believe that's the way it works. You have to at least send like two or one soldier to be able to receive any tech cards, which makes sense. We didn't have time to do that. But here we do have a bunch of unlockables that we need to go through and things like that. As you can see, we're not earning any money. We're staying at 11.11 .11 AQ, so we're not really doing too well right now. But we are going to need to upgrade quite a few times here. So the department store is almost level 1,000. Um, I want to go ahead and upgrade that quite a bit. But first of all, I think, well, let's get that level 1,000 for sure. And then get that to level 1,000. Now put it back to max. Department store, we can upgrade another 49 times. Currently earning us 63 AO out of our total 80 AO currently. Um, let's do 20 upgrades. Now doing 64 AO out of 82. Now let's go ahead and buy unlockables. 82 AO, now making 701 AO per second. So you kind of got to balance it out between upgrading businesses and buying unlockables. Because if I would have just kept on upgrading the department store there, definitely wouldn't have worked out the way it did. Earning like We were at 82 AO, now we're at 700 just because we uh, bought a couple unlockables. So you definitely got to kind of do a balance of both. You can't just be like, oh, Department Star is going to be earning me so much money if I get these 50 upgrades. You kind of got to worry about uh, unlockables as well. So we can upgrade our tap 260 times. Hopefully our tap is actually doing something now because obviously it was not doing anything before. Um, 120 AP, which is all right, I think. Uh, we definitely need to do some more upgrades on some good businesses though. 21 AO is coming from a restaurant. Department store is earning us 387 AO. Which, I mean, out of the 700, doesn't seem like a whole lot to be honest. 387 AO. Everything else is way below that. Now, Media Center earning us 282 AO. Um, a bank, 46. If we go to the top, restaurant, 65. Um... Armory 52 theme park. Yeah, so a couple little bit up well little upgrades here and there aren't really gonna do a whole lot Which does kind of suck, but we can still do a decent amount of upgrades on some of these I guess um, Next unlockable is 7.9 AQ and it's gonna upgrade the department stores profit by four <sighs> That would be amazing, but we need 7.9 AQ That's not amazing. So let's go ahead and activate all of these though and hopefully I mean Hopefully we're gonna have enough, but nah, there's no way we're gonna have enough. We might get one AQ There's no way we're getting 7.9 AQ just from a couple of these, but we were at 11.11 .11 AQ when we first started this episode So I mean that's just showing you that we could get there and by the time we sign in next episode We're definitely gonna be that high or well, way higher. I mean, sorry So next episode we will definitely be able to afford that Which is gonna be good 
Uh, but now we're at 2.59 AQ. Still can't buy a single upgrade, unlockable upgrade. Can do a couple upgrades here. 37 upgrades there. Now bumping up department stars profit by to 400 AO per second. Um, hotel doing 69. Uh, post office 74. That's a decent amount, I guess. Power plant so bad. Earning us 9.69 AO, and it's level 1053. That's almost like disappointing, honestly. That is absolutely brutal. Challenge, we have completed it. Tap anywhere. I'm tapping, okay. Uh, next challenge is in 30 minutes. Hopefully, we can go ahead and complete that. But, I mean, when we're, we're getting kicked from all these investment groups on Tap Tycoon and Tap Titans 2 because we're just not able to play every single day for quite a while. But, I think... Now that I'm making two videos a day, maybe we could all we could make a Tap Titans 2 video every three, two days. Hopefully then there will always be challenges for me to be able to do because I think that's what they look at. Because when I had one, I couldn't really tell by anything besides the weekly challenges. You can see how many people have done it. Done it. And as you can see, there's only been 10 people out of the 23 people that are in this clan that have actually done it. Um, that's kind of a good thing and kind of a bad thing at the same time. If you have a bunch of really good people and they're always on, obviously it's a good thing that you completed it. But it's bad for the guys that don't really earn as much because they might not have a chance to come on and do it before you guys have already completed it. But at the same time, obviously if you want to complete the challenges as fast as possible, getting you that profit bonus that you really, really want. Because it actually is a decent amount of profit bonus. All profits are now 24.25 times. Times 24 all profits is quite a bit. I'm not going to lie. That is a lot of multiply profits. Um, but I don't think we can get... I don't think we have any of these. So like in tap times 2, sometimes you'll get some of these. But we do have 180 gems. We could do make or drop 24 hours with the money, giving us 89.46 AQ. Reset skill, reset all skill cooldowns, which is kind of worthless. Double profit, double your profit for the next 24 hours. That would be pretty good. Yeah, that, that'd be alright. I mean, you'd have to be playing basically 24 hours straight to be able to actually make that worth it. So, I don't know if that would be something that I'd be interested in doing personally. But I think if you had a lot of gems, which I don't really understand how people get so many gems. Like, gems are pretty expensive to buy as well. I mean... Well, I guess it would only cost you 279 to be able to do any one of those. But, I mean, no, not everybody wants to spend gems like this. And it kind of sucks. Like, the developers kind of went at it at a wrong, wrong angle. You can't really earn gems from their game. You have to buy them. Which does kind of suck. I wish we could see our daily rewards because I think there is a couple decent ones out there. Um... I think there's a couple that are a lot of gems, but may, I think it's like you have to stay on for 30 days or something. Which is nice because they are rewarding you from coming back on every day. So obviously their game is still being played and you're getting a reward for that as well. But I think they're kind of, I think there should be an easier way to get gems besides daily rewards and things like that. Because if I'm playing a lot, I should get rewarded by getting gems. Um, that's just should, how it should be. Same with... Uh, Fortnite like I don't know if you guys watch Fortnite I play a lot of Fortnite and I'm sure a lot of you guys do too as well um, I think every level you level up you should be getting V bucks or every win you get you should be getting V bucks or every tier like I know in the battle pass yeah every couple of levels or every 10 tiers or something you get a hundred V bucks or something but I think it should be something something more small so like maybe you get I don't know, maybe 50 V-Bucks for getting a win. 50 V-Bucks doesn't sound like a whole lot, but you kind of got to balance it out because you don't want it to be useless, but you don't at the same time want it to be overpowered. For people like Ninja that have probably over three, 4,000 wins, that's a lot of V-Bucks. 50 V-Bucks for every...